let's get started. Uh, this is Chong, uh, the blockchain developer. Uh, let me share the screen from, uh, how to share the screen. Uh, okay, can you see the screen? Yes. Uh, first are some uh, Litecoin chain statistics. The number of addresses uh, increased to nearly uh, 7,000 this week. Number of transactions increased to about uh, 96,000. And the number of delegated tokens increased to about 250 million Litecoins. And uh, uh, the number of address and number of transactions are growing uh, about linearly. The number of dedicated tokens and number of uh, migrated tokens are, uh, are more or less the same, uh, remaining flat uh, in around, uh, the number of dedicated token remains around 200, uh, 250 million Litecoins. Last week, I, will, uh, I have set up the uh, repository or, uh, for Litecoin button SDK. Uh, it's on GitHub now and it's public. And I also uh, I was also researching on uh, the cost uh, game of Thrones uh, for cost uh, for Cosmos, uh, the articles, the documents, and also reading the books. Uh, this week I will continue on this research and also have uh, if I have time I will investigate in uh, converting the Litecoin button SDK into uh, how to convert it into a JavaScript module for uh, developers to import easily. That's it. Uh, this is Michael. Uh, last week, I, I have backed up all the data in the old Elasticsearch Casa and stopped it. So the whole migration is finished. And second, I will say a daily con job to update the user data to the intercom from the Elasticsearch login. And I also wrote a new internal API for Tom to update the orders in exchange. And this week I will draft and write the API for new version of the statistic report in the application for, for c cards and white cards. That's all. Uh, last week we have submitted and published uh, our uh, browser extension MVP on both Firefox and Chrome. And I have also deployed a uh, Litecoin button with event for uh, an attack purpose. And there was a minor bug causing the whole button uh, to error out for a night and it was already fixed up. And currently there is like a half to one third uh, light button low event that will cause a weak event. So. Uh, later we will develop a uh, API for app use and maybe this data will be useful for user analytics. And also I have uh, fixed some bug on the current Cifrolica key management system. And uh, the, the bug was about uh, some old subscriber uh, we subscribe will cause uh, it to, to stuck and cannot send a uh, light coin with the Cifrolica key. And also I've made some uh, statistics badges, uh, which is on our uh, Litecoin slash Litecoin web portal now. And it can be used in all kinds of website or document because it's just an image. And we will see uh, what kind of use, uh, what kind of places or document we can put them into. And also I was drafting uh, like pay functions and library user flow. And I have already posted some of it onto uh, either Slack channel or GitHub. And uh, I will see if the team has any additional comment. And if there is no additional changes, I will try to MVP the light pay library first uh, before the I any mean, other light pay function. Because we, uh, we have decided priority for these functions and the library should be the first one. And also I will try to write uh, the development developer document in the git book this week because uh, later we'll have more libraries to add and I want to mock up the current ones first and that's it. Oh, this is David. 
And lastly, I have completed the new civics page and uh, waiting for the new A-B test. And since last A-B test uh, result is a bit uh, uh, strange for me, so I have clicked the A-B test variants uh, of the old civics page. And the results uh, have record about, there's about uh, 1,200 sessions. And the final result is scripted. And so I am sure that we will uh, implement a new civic page for the A-B test. And I have submitted a PR uh, to add the CSS and adjust the DOM structure. And I have also implemented the foreign settings in the app. And now I'm cleaning up the code and prepared the PR. And later this week, I will start to implement the payment deep link in the app uh, based on William's uh, re requirements. Hi, this is Edmund. Uh, let's start with the uh, statistics sharing. Um, uh, in the, uh, I, 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 let me share the screen now. Can you see the screen? In, a, in the past yeah. four days, uh, uh, in fact, in the past two months, I want to share from December, uh, uh, you can observe a, a, a rise, a significant rise of new registration, uh, which was reported in the last meeting. But uh, this time I want to show that uh, uh, the, the trend is gradually dropped to become steady and uh, it stay at a daily level of, I, I, I think uh, it's around 260 new registration daily. And uh, uh, when comparing with the past month's statistics, uh, uh, it is a good news that uh, the, uh, our performance is, uh, is uh, improved in, in February when comparing with uh, January and even when comparing with December when we, have, we, we, we had some uh, promotion campaign on. So it's a point to note. Uh, the civic like a number, however, increased just slowly. And to this week, up to, up to now, it is uh, 1,100, uh, 1, 1,104 civic like this week. Uh, so it shows that the conversion is not quite efficient although the uh, new registrations uh, rise, the number of new registrations rise, but the, uh, the, 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 the in increasing of civic liker is not falling, is not catching up. Uh, for the app downloads, we have around, um, around 200 new units download. And um, I want to show another screen now. So can you see the uh, active civic like a screen? Uh, this is uh, another graph that I want, I want to show to you all. Uh, and, and as you can observe uh, from, from December to, to the, uh, to the uh, first, to, to, the, to, the, to, to January, it is almost a steady line. But uh, from February, we have uh, just raised a level. So this is the this shows that um, uh, more active users are on our platform and giving likes. So um, there is a simple conclusion for for the statistics. In fact, uh, in February uh, we are uh, we we are having a good start, but we have to work on the conversion to civic Leica. So uh, last week uh, last week I I have uh, mainly. Uh, uh, done four things. First is to, is to move the code down uh, customer database from Intercom to MailChimp. And um, uh, currently there are uh, 40,000 contacts in the uh, MailChimp leads and we will start to, um, start to uh, send a newsletter to them by this week. 
And the second thing is uh, to uh, shrink the uh, email message, uh, the, uh, uh, especially the welcome campaign in our, in our, uh, uh, in our intercom campaign settings. And uh, for this task, I have coordinated with, with, the, with some platforms, including methods. Uh, they, uh, they will include some uh, message, some email message on, in their onboard campaign. Uh, I mean, to in include some Litecoin message. Uh, for example, uh, uh, the original message, which was included in our onboard campaign into their onboard campaign. And the third thing uh, is to update the Gitbook. Currently, I have updated around 60% for the Gitbook user guide, and I target to complete it this week. And the fourth thing is uh, Facebook ad. I resumed the Facebook ad. It is found that uh, Facebook no longer approve those posts, uh, which has uh, bitly link in, in, in the post. So uh, this week, um, I will continue to update Gitbook. Uh, we will uh, continue to uh, consolidate the, the MailChimp leads. And um, I will work on improving the Civic Lega funnel as well. That's it. Hello, this is Josh. Uh, Emin, can you? Yeah, thank you. So last week, I completed the UI design for Like a plugin. And let me introduce a bit of uh, what is like a lamp party. So, actually, you can test and, and try now for the like a lamp plugin. You just uh, search the plugin on Firefox and Chrome for like a lamp, and you can install it. So, this is now only a trial for uh, internal tests, actually, but uh, you can. Just have a test, but not did not uh, feel it uh, is smooth, and we are still polishing it. Basically, in any any website, you can just click the uh, plugin, and then it will turn the, to differently. And then on the on the on your reading list on the like land in group app or on the web, you can bookmark the web page you just want to. Just click, and this is the basic uh, function of it. And last week, I uh, I design, I make some UI design and details for uh, for us for further polishing. And uh, let me show you. So this is the the basic design. I designed the icon, and if you click it, you will be, have a pop up little pop up to show you you added to like land. And if you click the trash, and then it will move. And the basic is uh, is that simple. And I also make some uh, uh, extra functions, uh, include setting and such for for us for uh, for develop, and it will launch uh, some days later. And I also make uh, the relocation of follow and unfollow setting, which is uh, here, is uh, the same same design as uh, on the like lamp app web, but uh, we just relocated on the app. So uh, in a short time, you can uh, user can uh, follow back the, the the writers in in the app, and this is for the uh, last week. And uh, in the upcoming week, uh, I will finalize the set design for uh, the UX UI, UX UI design for the stat on the app. And also I, I have to design a handling on the Likern app if uh, any likers reach the bookmark limit, uh, the app have to show something. So I will decide it for this week. And this is for, this is for me, thank you. Hey, hello, uh, hello here. Uh, last week, uh, I finally uh, finished the uh, ISCN uh, POC, and you, we will have the demo just after this meeting. And some quick research on the GraphQL. Uh, 
it may serve as a QA layer of the ISCN. Um, maybe after we have built the ISCN uh, inside the light contrain, uh, we may we may have some uh, more further research on this graph QL to see whether uh, it should our use case. And in the coming week, I will tidy up the POC and maybe review with uh, Chong on it. Uh, I also will start to draft a draft an article about this POC. Yes, that's all. Hi, um, this is Kim. So uh, give me a, a minute. So uh, I've posted two uh, links on, on, on Zoom for your reference. So I attended an event in Taipei to discuss about uh, how blockchain cross uh, media last uh, Monday before I come back to Hong Kong. I'm also preparing for the interview of Google Liu's initiative, which we're applying uh, for funding. And the interview will take place this Thursday. And then uh, I'm also preparing for the submission of a, a topic to Creative Commons Global Summit. And the topic will be uh, titled, actually I forgot the title, but uh, something around uh, Likeland. Uh, I'll post the uh, title afterwards. And uh, I'm also organizing some context for uh, upcoming Litecoin newsletter to, to post uh, for Phoebe to post to the updates to the context uh, after she come, comes back. And then I'm also uh, in discussion with Volkis for deeper integration on uh, the Litecoin button. We'll have a meeting this Wednesday uh, together with uh, William. It should be uh, quite similar to the Lewis Lens, uh, except that they are based on WordPress, which should make things uh, even more simple, I think. And then I, I, fi I finalized the uh, audit report for uh, 2018, uh, which, is, uh, which, which is long due. And uh, we will work on 2019 uh, audit report soon. Finally, I, I've just published uh, another article regarding uh, the management rationale of our team uh, titled uh, Radical Management 2. Uh, posted, the link was posted on Zoom already for your reference. That's, that's it. And there are actually three uh, participants which uh, we should welcome. One is just gone. He said he has something to do. And then we have Kiki, which I don't know, which is good because uh, it means there are newcomers. And then we have Heidi, Heidi Chen, who's uh, very kind to help us job meeting looks. Uh, we will chat afterwards on how uh, the meeting looks can, can be done. Uh, actually, we, we have some uh, draft from each person for you to, to base upon so that you don't have to do it from zero. And I'll pass the mic back to Alu. Okay, hello. Uh, now I will have a demo on the uh, ISCN uh, POC about uh, 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 what's the purpose of the of this POC first? Uh, I want to make this POC to prove a concept about we want to uh, keep the ISCN data inside our light contract, but uh, the client or everyone can query this data by the IPFS. So I need to connect these two different stack. So this POC is trying to prove this concept and now I have done on it. Okay, uh, oh, sorry, I share the screen first.
okay or okay what you can see now okay you uh do you see the my browser or you can only see my terminal Terminal only. Terminal only. Terminal only. Oh, I have few different window. I can only share one window only. Maybe maybe you put them into the same screen. No, I I all put in the same screen, but yeah, you can only share one window. Okay, okay, maybe. Yeah, a window or the whole. You you can adjust to share your screen or share just window. Oh, okay. Let me try. I think the sh first option is uh, we see what you you are seeing. Just the uh, you have to shut the shut the share screen and then open again. Okay, can. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, first of all. Okay, first of all. Uh, no, I will try to run my program and will generate a sample uh, ISEM board and then I will try to pin it in the, the IPFS and at the same time I will store it inside the uh, Cosmos train. Okay, what you can see is now I make a I just random uh, some number, just make the uh, ISCM broad, just like this. Just copy that, and I also copy down the Yes, this is the CID of the of this ISM. But what is CID? Uh, the CID is the content address on the IPFS. So uh, later I can use this uh, CID to queue with this ISM block on the IPFS string uh, on the IPFS. Is, is it possible you um, decrease your resolution, increase the font size? Command plus. Okay, is it good now? Okay, this is my this is my CID. Okay, at the next step. Uh, I will show you. Okay, I uh, can show my PLC first, and then I can show you in this directory. There is a file called application.db. This file, uh, this folder, actually is the content of the Cosmos string. Uh, that the that's like a uh, uh, like on string. All the content is stored inside. Uh, now I, I will show you that my ISCM board is really saved inside this uh, DB folder. So I try to rename it first. Okay, I just. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, I think you use wrong command. Okay, I just 
rename it. So uh, actually, I have no data uh, in the point of view of my program now. I will try to, this time, I will try to get this CID. But of course, I renamed the uh, DB folder, so it should not find, uh, find this CID. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, I Okay, this time uh, I will just try to find just trying to find out this CID, but I think it will get nothing as is better. Okay, it just say, oh, nothing can find. So that means uh, at least uh, I can find that this time. So I try to rename back the directory. Okay, rename it back. And then one more time, I should find the ICM block at this time, as I expected. Wait, what's going on? Oh, okay, I need to. What the? I rehearsal, I rehearsal the D time, but also okay in the D time. But don't know why. Okay, I, I maybe I try I try one more time. You can wait. Oh. Okay, I repeat for the step one more time. Okay, I first generate. A block. Okay, generate another new block. And I save down this CID. Okay, I just, sorry. I first try to get it back. I try to get back this ISM block first. Okay. Okay, you can see something in uh, binary format, but uh, you can roughly see that this is the uh, content of just like Thing. Okay, you you should see my name. Yes, 
you should see my name inside this uh, raw data. Le uh, later, you will see a, a better format, but at least I now prove that, oh, I can get back this data from my uh, plugin. Okay, now I try to show you. I rename this folder. Okay, and this time say it can find nothing, it can only find nothing. Yes, cannot fetch the IPLD. And then I rename back. Uh, you may need RMRF for the uh, application.db since it's a folder. Oh, maybe. You're right. Oh. Okay, I should get it back this time. Okay, I can get that something. Okay, uh, this few step just prove that uh, I can really uh, store the data inside the uh, uh, Cosmos train. And then the next part, I will try to show you, I can also get it back from uh, IPFS. Okay. First of all, uh, I make a plugin uh, to the IPFS. Uh, Kyan. The, the method is so easy. You can see my okay. This is the folder of my uh, IPFS on my local machine. You see. You see, I have a IPFS command. I have a I, I, IPFS command. And the command is inside this folder. Uh, inside it, you can see a folder called plugins. OK, this uh, dilemma library is just made by me. And I just copy this uh, .so file inside this plugin. And next time, if I start a, a IPFS diamond, uh, this plugin will automatically load, load into the IPFS uh, diamond. So I can use some uh, functionality about this plugin. But uh, there has a bug in IPFS that this file can be only, uh, th this plugin can be installed in this way only in the Linux. Yes, uh, in the Linux, you can just copy this uh, plugin file into this folder and then every, everything should be work. And I tested before, but in the Mac uh, OS, uh, you cannot run like this way. So I just made a spe special version of the uh, IPFL. IPFS, I just uh, build in this plugin inside the uh, IPFS so that I can use this plugin in the Mac OS. But in the uh, Linux system, uh, you, can, you can only copy this uh, SO file in the folder, uh, that will be okay. Okay, first of all, I try to uh, no, uh, run the IPFS time on, on my local machine. And of course, this uh, IPFS is already installed in my plugin. Uh, there's some type of message so that uh, my plugin is uh, already installed uh, into this uh, IPFS diamond. And then I try to use the command line to uh, 
get back the ISCM block before use this CID oh sorry Okay, some deeper message. Oh, sorry. Uh, I didn't want this. Okay, I should uh, first run the POC program first. What's happening? What's going on? Okay. Okay. Uh, once I turn, uh, I run this POC program. Uh, inside this uh, program, it is also have a IPFS is running, just in the library mode. So now uh, this is uh, serving as a IPFS node. And at the same time, I try to. I uh, I ran another I, IPFS special modified IPFS diamond. So now in my local machine, I have actually two IPFS nodes running. One is my POC and another, another one is a modified uh, IPFS diamond. And then now I try to get this block. Okay, lightning get the result, okay. This JSON data is just uh, it's just so yeah. the whole concept is that uh, the POC program is serving as the a provider of the data and it stores the data inside the Cosmos uh, Cosmos database uh, Cosmos train database. And then another uh, another IPFS program, which is uh, the more divided IPFS uh, allocated, uh, is is uh, serving as a client who is uh, maybe in an, in in another machine, and he is uh, that client was trying to query from the IPFS network for uh, for this data, and then the POC server uh, just received this query, then read the read the data from the Cosmos database and then serve it as an uh, IPFS query response. So that IPFS client um, try to make a query to the, to the demo program, the, 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 the content provider. Do you mean that? Uh, yes. 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 So uh, in, the, in, in this back uh, terminal, uh, this is just a uh, plugin install the IPFS and try to get this result. And you can get the result from another uh, IPFS node that is running in my POC. Okay, now let's try another thing. Okay. Uh, I just copy the CID first. Okay, I copy my CID. Okay, this is the uh, this is a IPFS explorer provided by uh, IPFS officially. So this is a public uh, gateway of the IPFS. I try to paste the CID to this explorer and try to go to explore. Okay, maybe we need to raise some moment. 
I also use this uh, API uh, API way to query this uh, CID. Is to get something. Okay, great. It gets something. Okay, it say, oh, uh, it cannot recognize what is uh, 612. Actually, it gets something. It gets something. But it can uh, pass the data because uh, it don't know what is uh, 612. Okay, what, what about this uh, 612? Okay, in the IPFS, in the IPFS, that is called is a concept called the cook deck. The cook deck. Uh, it use uh, it call it multi cook deck. Uh, you can put uh, every data on the IPFS, but how I can get that? Uh, just like uh, uh, the POC, just like the I write something. I call it ISCM blog, um, but another, another guy don't know what this kind of uh, uh, data, don't know how to uh, decode the data. Uh, so I provide a plugin to help the other to decode this data, but these tools, these tools uh, didn't install the this didn't install my plugin, so it cannot recognize this type of data. And inside the object, object type 612 refers to an ISCN block. Uh, yes, this uh, cook that, uh, this cook that, uh, this table is uh, all the available cook that of the IPFS. Okay, oh, it's a few of 400 and something uh, cook that. And I use the six one two. That means in the in the uh, has a decimal format. It should be it should be zero two six four. So I can uh, upload this uh, code that to this repo so that I can uh, reserve this number for our ISCM blog later, and I, I, will, I will do it later. So, uh, another way. The CID Explorer, I just paste this one, and it also say, oh, cook COX, CO264, not fun, that means the, uh, in the decimal is uh, 612, not fun. Uh, it's enough fun because uh, these tools didn't install my plugin. If these tools uh, try to install my plugin uh, here, you will see the uh, past data, the multi-base, the cook data, the hash, and the uh, CID. Yes. So, so in so in this demo, in this demo, I can show that uh, I want my POC in my local machine. I want this POC uh, in my local machine. And we serve a, uh, the first, the original content provider, the original ISCM block provider. And then I uh, use another uh, modified IPFS in my uh, local machine that uh, it can read, it can read this uh, ISCM block data and show it in a recent format because uh, this is, uh, this IPFS installed my plugin so it can uh, read this data. And also I try to get this data in the public, it at least get the data, get the uh, raw binary data, but uh, it don't know how to pass it. So it just say, oh, I'm recognized the object type 612. Uh, so the use case uh, in the future, so if, you, if you want to get the uh, ISCN data, you can first run your uh, own uh, 
plug-in installed IPFS diamond, one in one on the on your uh, machine, and then you can get the IS ISEM block data from the CID. So this is two concepts. The uh, IS ISEM number, the, the ISEM ID, and the CID. The CID is the content address on the IPFS, but the ISCN number will not be the uh, CID because the uh, ISCN uh, is save save the data in the uh, save, save the content in different edition. Uh, you you can uh, represent uh, one content in different edition, so the CID of the content itself will be different. So I will not use the uh, IPFS CID as the I, ISEN number or ISEN ID. So I will uh, create another uh, globally unique ID for the uh, ISEN content. So how we do this, uh, how we connect this to number, the ISEN ID and the uh, and the uh, uh, CID of the ISEN content, uh, the ISEN metadata. Uh, I think uh, I will use the light, light constraint itself to make this mapping. So every time you want to query a ISEN uh, metadata, you uh, first of all try to use the ISCN ID to queue it on the uh, on the light constraint, and the light constraint will tell you the uh, CID only, not the whole data. Uh, only tell you the CID, and then you can try to use the plugin installed IPFS to queue it this uh, ISCN metadata from the IPFS itself, yes. Can I treat in this way? That means uh, one ISCN ID can refer to multiple content ID and uh, those content ID may be representing different versions of that, uh, uh, that ISCN content, uh, am I correct? Uh, here should be uh, at least two concepts. Uh, on the light constraint, it only store the ISCN metadata. What's inside the metadata? Uh, the metadata should have the IS, ISCN ID itself uh, has the uh, owner of the ISCN content and also have the uh, content location. The content location may be another IPFS, may be only a, a HTTP URL, uh, maybe if for some uh, uh, private content, they may not provide the uh, content address. So what's inside the uh, light constraint is only the ISCN metadata. So you can query this metadata and you see, oh, this metadata record the uh, location of the real content. Maybe it is another IPFS CID. Okay, maybe you put your uh, content on IPFS, so there should be they should have a uh, IPFS CID. So you save this, C, uh, this IPFS CID inside the uh, ISCN metadata. So if some guy query this uh, ISCN metadata, he will find that, oh, your content is located in uh, this CID. Okay, I go to get this uh, I, I, uh, IPFS content with uh, via this uh, another CID. The concept is like this. Is it okay? Uh, 
uh, I want to ask, uh, so, so, uh, how, how, how many extra, uh, plugins or component is, is, uh, self-made or customized is there and then what are their rules? Because, uh, is that, uh, so, so you, you keep on mentioning the POC and is the POC a IPFS knock or a Cosmos knock or a, is just a program to throw IPLDs onto IPFS? The P, okay. Mm. Is is the data for one way only is like uh when I'm not sure is is the cosmos endpoint currently have the ability to pull some IPLD data down into the cosmos DB? Uh yes. Uh uh the POC uh is just me make the environment of the light contract. All the POC uh coding should be uh, integrated inside the light contract. So the validator of the light contract will run this program. They will run the validator program, that is the uh, Cosmos program. At the same time, there is there will be a built-in IPFS running, in, uh, running with the uh, Cosmos train. So they are uh, running one program. At the same time, they are running the uh, Litecoin train validator, and at the same time, it's running a, a simplified IPFS. So every time the Litecoin train uh, receives a ISCN registration transaction, after all the validator uh, proof it and try to uh, make a little block that uh, include this uh, ISCN data, uh, ISCN registration. And at the same time, the validator program will put this data in the uh, co Cosmos string, uh, the, the Litecoin string. So this ISCN is the block data after the uh, success of the transaction. And at the same time, uh, since the validator program is also a IPFS node, a simplified IPFS node, so if everyone try to use the new CID to query this new uh, ISM and uh, any other IPFS node will have some chance to find, oh, this CID is located in this uh, IPFS node. Okay, I try to get the data out and then um, to distribute it to the IPFS network. So the, if you try to kill it, you finally can uh, get from our validator log. Can I? Uh, so that means the, the demo program, the, the POC program, uh, provide a facility, a web solution service for for an ISCN metadata, right? So it it, it try to um, uh, provide a web solution service and mm -hmm. also write the block data to the Cosmos chain to the Litecoin chain maybe. Uh, yes, yes. Actually, yes. Uh, at the same time, put put into two different locations. One is the uh, light contrain as the block data. So uh, this data is uh, immutable, uh, immutable later. And at the same time, it distributed this content to the IPFS network. So if you really want to find uh, uh, I, uh, the, the ISCN metadata, you don't need to connect to light contrain. You only need to use the uh, IPFS network to try to find this uh, content. So this POC is try to prove that uh, we can put the ISCN data uh, into the train itself, into the Litecoin train itself. At the same time, uh, it distributed to the IPFS network. This is the purpose of uh, of my POC.
uh, we will the simplify the IP address not uh, synchronize or store other things, uh, things, no data mm -hmm. other than the uh, ISDN. Yes. yes, yes. You can see so 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 many log, so many now at this moment. This log is come from the normal IPFS behavior. Mm, I, I discussed this point with Chong before. Uh, if finally we find that uh, this is some loading of the validator, it's a really a loading of the validator. Mm, if this uh, really happened, then maybe we try to find how we uh, how we cut this uh, behavior, but if this uh, is not really a loading, I think one run one more IPFS look is is a good thing. I think uh, more 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 IPFS look is uh, also a uh, beneficial to the IPFS network actually. Any more correction? I, I guess we. I, I, I guess it's likely we we use this topic to join the hack actum for next time. There's no date yet, but uh, there will surely be an hack actum event somewhere in the world this year. <laughs> I suggest to have a, a simple diagram for all these concepts, uh, uh, so that we can when 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 some something like a, some block and and those arrows, uh, the data flow, uh, something like that, um, it, it will be uh, f m much more easier for us to understand the concept. Yeah, is it, yeah. Is it a repository or something? Yes, yes. Can you for post? for oh, okay 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 I I I will post uh, on uh, and for if I have uh, three repos one is like on ICM PUC and this is uh, like on ICM IPRD this repo is the plugin when you see the uh, the SO file before uh, you see before and one more repo is the uh, Fork uh, go IPFS since I modified the, the uh, IPFS uh, lab, uh, my IPFS code base for me to uh, make the uh, make the connection between the IPFS and Cosmos. So this is the modified uh, IPFS library. And then post this. I first post in. Uh, in this how oh, I can pause yeah any more questions if no more question I think uh, that's all for this sharing session. Thank you. Chairman Chong. When did I become <laughs> chairman? Uh, any other business for the, uh, for the weekly meeting to discuss? I, I uh, shall I shall support uh, Heidi to finish the um, meeting minutes. Okay. Uh, so maybe uh, Heidi can first uh, post a draft and then we post our uh, our own draft onto the uh, it should be medium. It's there already on on the chat. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Take, take a look at the chat and uh, the, the medium link. Okay. Yeah, but um, since I, I've missed some of the reports uh, from the first few minutes, so uh, like some of them I'm not able to edit it because I, I haven't listened to the content. And, uh, and also the demo, I'm not sure if I can, I'm able to understand the different. whole concept. Uh, I think that... Yeah, I, I guess we don't really have to uh, explain the demo, just, just a line saying that there's a demo should be fine. And sure. then there's a recording of the whole minutes. So in case you want to like reference to it, you, you can listen to it again. And we will we'll sure. have to upload it to YouTube anyway. I'll, I'll talk to you afterwards. Sure. Are, are you on Slack? Uh, yeah. Okay, I, I'll see you there. Chairman. Any other business? Finished. If not, then uh, this is the end of the weekly meeting. Thank you. And thanks, Alu, for the demo.